You'll need to gather the following items for this activity. An A4 sheet of paper and some scissors. A straw and a pencil. The pencil should be a little bit wider than the straw. Some sellotape and a measuring tape. To start, cut a 5 cm wide strip from the long side of the piece of paper. Start wrapping the paper strip around the pencil at an angle so that you are gradually moving up the pencil. Roll the paper fairly tightly around the pencil until you get to the other end. Use sellotape to tape the paper in place at each end and in the middle. Now remove the pencil and cut straight across each end of the paper tube to make them level. To make the top of your rocket, fold one end of the tube over and sellotape it shut. Your rocket is now ready. We'll add a nose cone and fins a little later. It's time to start our test. How far do you think your rocket will go? Do you think it'll make any difference when the nose cone and fins are added? Remember, to make a fair test, you should try to launch your rocket from the same place each time, at the same angle, and blowing the rocket just as hard each time too. OK, launch your rocket by putting it onto the straw and blowing. And remember, never launch your rocket at somebody else, as it could hurt them. Use the measuring tape to measure where the rocket lands. How did the distance compare with your guess? Write the distance down in a chart, and then launch the rocket two more times before calculating an average distance for the three flights. Now use the scissors, paper and sellotape to make fins for your rocket. Attach the fins and launch your rocket three more times before using the chart to calculate the average distance. Did the rocket go further when the fins were attached? Now you need to add a nose cone to your rocket. You can make a cone by using something round to cut a circular piece of paper. Next, cut a slice of paper out of the circle Overlap the edges and tape them in place to make the cone. Use some sellotape to stick the cone onto the end of your rocket. Like before with the fins, launch your rocket three times and measure each distance to come up with an average. How far did the rocket go this time? Why do you think this might be the case? Can you think of other things you could do to your rocket to change how far it flies? Look at the activity sheet for further information.